Hello, everyone. My name is Brett Sedell, and welcome to the Turquoise Square. One of the stars is sitting in the secret Turquoise Square, and the contestant who picks it first could win a very, very special prize. Which star is it? Well, let's meet our Turquoise Squares. First, she moonlights as a top pastry chef in Zanzibar, Sammy Garrett. He crochets onesies for hairless hamsters. That's Josh Schwartz. Perhaps best known for his voiceover work on Teletubbies, Chris Browers. Crowned Miss Etiquette at the 2017 Alabama State Fair, Michelangelo Caruba. The book and movie, Mr. Popper's Penguins, is based on his life, Greg Sanderson. She actually beat Neil Armstrong to the moon, but doesn't want the attention. Shira Elias. Born and raised by Muppets in deep, deep, deep Saskatchewan, Taylor Ward Shell. The world's foremost narwhal expert, Craig Broadhead, and of course, luchador enthusiast and inventor of the piano key necktie, Dave Brandwine. And now, here's your host of the Turquoise Squares, audio architect of at least 24 channels at Sirius XM Satellite Radio. Here he is, Ari Faye. All right. Thank you so much, Brett. And thanks to all of you at home for watching Turquoise Squares. And welcome our two contestants this week. First up, he is a natural wine connoisseur and curator, a stylish, well-dressed man known for his work in the Shady Horns. Lettuce has a brand new album out called Resonate. And Eric Benny Bloom is all over that shiz. Please give it up for Eric Benny Bloom. Thank you so much, everybody. Glad to be here. <laughs> He's also a budding impressionist, which we'll hear more about later. And our next contestant is a legend in his own right. He's the host of the wildly successful World Saving Podcast. He's got a hot new late night show airing on Thursday nights on ITV, a shit show on internet TV, and the undisputed band leader of Andy Frasco and the UN. Please welcome your favorite entertainer and mine, Andy Frasco, everybody. What's up, everybody? Thanks for having me. I appreciate this. Let's fucking get this. I'm here to win, Benny. Fuck that. I'm here to win. Whatever. All right. Well, it's heating up already. Brett, why don't you tell our contestants just what they could win today? You've got it, Mr. Fink. First round prize. Don't you worry anymore about your significant other, nosy friend, or curious stranger looking over your shoulder while you scroll your favorite social media feed and emails with this privacy scarf. How embarrassing. Second round prize. Pucker up and get ready to let your sweet tooth go downtown on this three pound gummy. One size fits all throats is what she said. And the secret turquoise square prize. Project your stature and join the high society by making your duty twinkle with those gold shard supplement capsules. You're welcome. But back to you, Ari Fink. Oh, man, those gold shard capsules. I'm going to have to have a conversation about that a little bit later. Right now, we will be back after a word from our sponsors. Welcome back to Turquoise Squares. Our two contestants this week, Eric Benny Bloom, trumpeter from Lettuce, and Andy motherfucking Frasco, an emerging star on OnlyFans.com and a musician in his own right, a performer and a legend on the internet. Oh, man. Here we go with Turquoise Squares. Now, for those of you that don't remember how to play, it's simple. X's and O's, okay? It's tic-tac-toe, baby. Benny is going to be our X, and Andy gets the O's. All right, we're going to start with you, Eric Benny Bloom. Are you ready to play Turquoise Squares? I'm ready. Let's go, Ari. All right, Benny. Let's pick a contestant. Our first contestant, who will it be? You know... I think I'm going to go with the queen herself, Shira. 
Yes, what a decision. Welcome to the party, Shira. Okay, Shira, are you ready for this question? Our first question in Turquoise Squares. I am so ready. Let's do this. All right. What is the scientific name for a dolphin? That is tough. Scientific name for a dolphin. Oh, I think it is Dorphidius herecus. Wow. She says Dorphidius herecus. I, I, I read it in a textbook once. Amazing. Eric Benny Bloom, it is up to you to decide well, whether Shira is correct or not. You know, I know she's a very uh, studied lady. She's been to many uh, universities. I, however, um, I didn't really feel strongly about the response she had, uh, and I was going to go with porpoise on that, so I am going to think it's false. I'm not going to go with that. Well, it's a good thing that you don't have to know exactly what the scientific name of a dolphin is, because it's not porpoise either, but it is definitely not what Shira said. And so, Benny, you've got the first X on the board. Let's go. Down with Andy Frasco and everything he stands for. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome, remember. Benny. Thank as you so much. As That's those tough. of you at home can see, Shira is X'd out on our board. She's in yellow with the purple lipstick. All right, Andy Frasco. Mm -hmm. Andy motherfucking Frasco, podcast superstar and spirit uplifter, okay? Human rights activist. Are you Shut up, Barry. Let's get to the game already. Let's Play fucking do this. Turquoise squares. That's a yes. <laughs> All right. He said Let's yes. rock this shit, baby. Okay. So the object is to find out who's not going to lie to me. The, I'm going to go that's with the one way to play it. You could play it that way. You, all you got to do is pick somebody in turquoise and then figure out if they've uh, said the right answer or not. All right. Point. Well, I'm going to go with go the ahead, uh, let's pick. Who, who is your pick? Who, which, which spot on the board are you going with first, Andy Frasco? I'm going to go with the, uh, the Italian, uh, <laughs> the Italian laundry, uh, Store fucking Gambino over here. What are you wearing right now? Dude, Karoo, you're freaking me out. I feel like I owe you money right now. I feel like I owe you fucking money. It's night at the, it's night at the Roxbury here in, in North Carolina. Jesus Christ. I hope you make oh, love. Amazing. Okay, hold on. I want Karuba. Karuba's first. I got Karuba. Right, we are headed to Mikey Karuba Square. Now, Michelangelo, were you named after the painter? Or Absolutely the not. No, the neither. No. Neither. No, my, okay. no, my, my actual name is Fred. Okay, Fred Karuba. How many bones are in the name. human foot, Mikey Karuba? How many bones are in the human foot? 256. Boom. Andy Frasco? I call bullshit. Why are you lying to me? You're fucking lying to me. I, 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 I actually call on you, and you just lied to me in a second. You're like, because, fuck this guy. You lied to me in a fucking 200. You don't know. No bullshit. I'm You're looking at it, it the wrong way, buddy. I'm taking... You know this answer, Karuba? I'm just saying you could play with me. I said a wild answer. If you want to win, all you got to do is play with me. I call bullshit then. All right, we in this. I'm we're about to be Betty via gambling style, dog. I got my pit boss here, dog. Just so I, I call can... bullshit. Yeah, you're right, Karuba. I call bullshit. Andy, you're saying no. 256 is not the answer. It's not how many bones are in the foot. It's not. Well, circle gets the square. Andy Frasco is on the board, ladies and gentlemen. Suck it, baby! Boom! Keep it, get this bread. Keep it nice, all right? I'm sorry, I'm competitive. I've been, competitive. I've been watching the Jordan doc, dude. I'm competitive. I got, I got a pair of Jordan in my room. Don't play with me right now. I know, we live in the same town, too. This is scary. We might actually fight oh, in the park or something. Yeah, I do. Let's talk about the lair. How do we scare? How do we scare? Has played tic tac toe before. He went for the corner square. That is a strategy, as they say in the business. All right, back to you, Eric Benny Bloom with the X's. Who is going to be the next square that you'd like to receive a question on turquoise? Well, I'm going to go with a fabulous guitarist, but a more famous DJ, DJ Esman, Craig Broadhead. Let's go with him. Ooh. Greg Broadhead, welcome Ooh. to the show. Thank you for dressing up. It's wonderful to see you, dude. That's Here we go. What is the nickname of South Dakota? Um, well, uh, they tried to pick a uh, flat and boring state, but uh, North Dakota already had that. Right? So. Right on that. <laughs> He's on to something. Feeling good about this one. Come on, Craig. 
I'm gonna say the Rushmore State because that is where Mount Rushmore is located. That's all I got. That's a tricky one. Wow. This is a tough one. If I didn't know my geography, I'd almost go with you on this. It's false. Well, not so sure about your geographical skills, Benny, because it turns out that it's true. It is the Rushmore State. Congratulations, Craig. Uh, oh, was correct. I'm sorry, oh, Benny. You lose the opportunity to get on the board, and we're going uh, back to Brasco's house. The oh, easy, easy, beautiful cover girl up in this bitch, dog. Okay. I got to go with Tay-Tay. Tay-Tay, give me oh, something. Taylor. Tay Tay, you won't lie to me. In the mix. The game I never that? lie. That's one thing about me. I never lie. I know. You're the most sensitive man I know. I, you're so sweet. We text yesterday and you just <laughs> stare. Uh, okay. Yeah. I got this. Give me Tay Tay. Give me well, Tay Tay. Listen, listen, guys. It's really wonderful to be here, Ari. Excited to play. Let's hear the question. Love the glasses. Psych that you're, you're in the mix right now. Taylor, right. can you tell us what Brad Pitt's middle name is? Jeffrey, Brad Jeffrey Pitt. Everybody knows that. Obviously. That, is that even is it with conviction, Andy. With conviction. Does he look like a Jeffrey to you? He looks like baby Elton John right now from, you know, like the middle years of Elton. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he's like at his parents' house still. He's got the fucking glasses. He's got the, got the baby pro a little bit. He does. He does. He does. Hey, you got... Uh, I think I'm calling bullshit. I think you're lying to me, dog. I love you, but I don't think you know Brad Pitt's middle name. So I'm going to go with Bull Baby Elton is bullshit. Well, Circle gets the square. <laughs> Let's the fucking go! Circle continues the oh, goal. I look like some Wait a minute. Uh, Brad Pitt's middle that name. That is the game. game. Just like that. It's like wow. a hit shutout. I'm the last person that knows Brad Pitt. Andy Frasco. I barely know no. anyone. Oh, walk God. off. Dude, I just want to know. I want to now. Now I'm curious if all y'all are gonna be bullshitting me. Sammy, give me, give Sammy a question. Let's see if she's fucking bullshitting me right now. Okay, so <laughs> I'm to all you motherfuckers. Now you're just like you're like ah. Oh, I could get. Li I'm just lying right away. Just lying straight up. Well, Andy Frasco takes the first round from his home in Denver, Colorado. Turquoise squares will continue right after this. After all these years, I finally found out who put the shaving cream in my fraternity jacket. My best friend, Larry, called last night, long distance. Said the guilt was killing him. Sure was good hearing from him. Any night after 11 or weekends till 5 on Sunday, dial direct and share 10 minutes with anyone in America for $1.58 or less. So imagine how little a few minutes cost. If he only knew who nailed his shoes to the floor during homecoming. Welcome back to Turquoise Squares. My name is Ari, and I'm here with a bunch of hoodlums from all across the country playing Turquoise Squares. You may have seen it in Hollywood in the 70s, but we've adapted it, and we have taken this operation global. It is wonderful to be here. Brett, tell us what prizes our contestants would win today. Uh, as a reminder, there are a lot of things on the line right now, Mr. Fink. The first round prize is the privacy scarf, in case you don't want your significant other seeing who you're looking at. The second round prize, pucker up and get ready to let your sweet tooth go downtown with a three pound gummy worm, which disgusts me personally, but might be good as a prize for these two. And the secret turquoise square prize, our gold shard supplement capsules to make your poopy twinkle. Right back to you, Mr. Fink. Oh boy, that's what I was hoping you'd say, Brett. Thank you so much. Our two contestants today, as a reminder, the young Andy Frasco, looking for love in all the wrong places. He is an entertainer, a musician, a podcaster. He's got a brand new hit show, a shit oh, show, God. Thursday nights on ITV. And he has taken round one of Turquoise Squares. Now his fellow competitor also in Denver is Eric Benny Bloom, wine expert, trumpeteer, and overall funny man who might be the best impressionist that nobody knows about. There's Benny. guns up in them heels. <laughs> All right, Benny, we are going to start with you. Are you ready to get back on the board here, Eric Benny Bloom? I'm ready to take it to places where it shouldn't go. All right, that's why you're here, Benny. That is why you're here, and that's why you're wearing that hat. Okay, let's take a look at our board. Benny, where are you headed? On the Turquoise Squares board. Well, I'm gonna, you know, this has been a tough call. 
Uh, and I'm really a big fan of the piano necktie, so I'm going to go with Dave Brandwine. All right. Somebody finally lands on the middle for once. Now we are actually playing here. This is great. Okay. <laughs> Dave Brandwine, it's great to see you. Congratulations on all the success with the piano neckties. And thank you for having us here on Turquoise Squares. Thank here you. is your question, Dave. What does HTML stand for? Uh, HTML, um, I think there's many different contexts for that. And once technology related, I say that as a, a abbreviation in my text messages and I'll let the audience figure out what that is. But um, I believe it is, it is high tech media landing. High tech media landing is Dave's answer. Eric, Benny Bloom, true or false? You know, I am an expert in this field and I am 100% sure that Dave is telling the truth. That is, he is telling the truth. Yes, he is. Well, Eric, Benny Bloom, unfortunately, you're not as much of an expert as you thought because it actually stands for hypertext markup language. So I'm sorry. I gotta be that honest. Another really incorrect response we're headed back to andy frasco's Very house where the party continues. let's fucking go all right pour yourself a shot of jameson because frasco's about to take his shirt off andy let's take know, a let's keep it no out. keep it going keep it going Evan. i'm a can I've, i'm, I'm can boys on on fridays and saturdays dude <laughs> tuesdays tuesdays is all uh it's all squares all squares all right well keep your shirt on whatever you whatever you prefer andy where are you headed on the board here on turk i'm still going with this social fucking experiment i think you're all bullshitting us and i'm on to y'all I'm going with Sammy. Sammy, I know you wouldn't bullshit me. Frasco has landed on the secret square. Congratulations. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck, what does that mean? <laughs> Brett, tell him what it means. The secret square on Turquoise Squares wins the gold shard supplement capsules to make your disgusting beauty twinkle like the stars. Right back to you, Ari. Wow, extra prizes, Frasco. Smoke them if you got them. Here we go. Sammy is our secret square. Okay. All right, Sammy, are you ready? Now, there's a lot riding on this, Sammy. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Can you tell us a little bit about the decor in your room? It looks lovely. Oh, thank you. Um, these are some dried flowers that I think my, my parents gave me for my, my birthday, actually, when we filmed Nuns a Ton. We Excellent. filmed it on my birthday. So, uh, Happy birthday. gave me some flowers, and um, that is the alphabet in case I forget. So... That, that might be useful for me because I don't think yeah, so. Good, yeah, as we all you know. know. Well, Sammy, that's amazing. Thank you for giving up the <laughs> floor you. of your bedroom. You. It's lovely to see you. And here we go. Our okay. secret square. Andy Frasco, listen up, pay attention, make sure those headphones are on. All right, Sammy. Which ocean is the deepest? I well, didn't Savage Garden have a song called that? Maybe some something about something about your love being very deep um i you know what i'm going out on a limb i'm gonna say i'm gonna say the pacific Hold he's on. taking us to the pacific you no know, andy i'm not lying but i'm not telling the truth so <laughs> oh wow what kind of crap is that this is like labyrinth you're not lying but you're not telling just, the truth just call me jareth the goblin king so the baby, you know. the baby. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, hold on. Let me think about this. You set me up for about 30 seconds. And I'm going to call that you know this. I think you know this. Andy, that's your final answer? Mm, mm, yes. Final answer? Final well, answer. You'd be right again. Circle Let's fucking go! Andy goes oh! on a chair here on Turquoise. Oh! oh, God. Unbelievable. Let's get a look at that board. We've got two circles with Eric Benny Bloom Damn, on his heel. Fuck. Back is against the wall. Down one nothing already. Well, Benny, there's only one place to go here. And uh, you're up, buddy. Tell us where we're All headed. Right. Well, I'm going to go with the queen on this one once again. <laughs> Kira Elias. I didn't let you down the first time, Benny. That's right. Let's go. All right. Back to you, Shira. It's wonderful to see you. Welcome back. Here is your question. Are you ready? Yes. Fuck yeah. All right. She says yes. Shira, tell us, what is a group of giraffes called? Or as they're commonly known, giraffes. A Geraldo. A 
Geraldo. <laughs> Duh. Not supposed to laugh, but that answer was awesome. Well, you know, I, I, the, the funny thing is, once again, um, I'm not only an expert on giraffes, but my father's favorite uh, TV host back in the late 80s and early 90s is Geraldo Rivera. His, his name is Jerry. We used to call him Geraldo, and that's actually true. And uh, unfortunately, Shear is not an expert like me, but she's still not going to let me down. So let's get that square from me. Come on. Big money. I got you, Benny. I got you. So what you're saying, Benny, is that... He is wrong, and she is lying. Thank you for clarifying. I'm a little dim-witted. Benny, you would be correct with that one. He's on the board, everybody. Yeah, Eric Benny Blue successfully blocked the move. I hate he, you. I just hate you. Let's do that. Go ahead. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get I it. I love how everyone thinks we're lying, and it's not just that we don't know the answer, but we're purposely lying. very suspicious <laughs> group here I'm learning. So and not the game is usually played. This is not The Sopranos. It's just a game of turquoise. Please make me honest, you prick. <laughs> I wish you could. Up. Trust you me, can tell hey, we've toured you know together before. Well, that's cut out. You guys got to do you. Okay, here we go. Andy, <laughs> it's back to you. Still in the lead, still with a powerful position on the Man. board, Andy. Let's see if you know how to play tic tac toe. Tell us where we're headed. You know, I'm going to. I'm going to go back to Tay Tay. I want one more with Tay Tay. I want Baby Elton. I want Baby Elton. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to close close out the game right now for Benny. So. All right. All right. Here we go. Taylor. I got you. Me and you on the same wavelength, baby boy. Let's get it. I'm ready to answer questions that I don't know ahead of time. That's what I'm good at. It sounds like you were born to play this role, and I'm thrilled that you're here. Let's cut the shit. And get right to it. Okay, Taylor. What is Natalie Portman's actual last name? I mean, why am I getting the celebrity? It's like Johnny Name over here. <laughs> um, Natalie Portman's actual last name. Portman. No, she's honest, isn't she? She's an honest celebrity. Her name is Portman. I actually don't know the answer, so. Fuck. You might, you might be so oblivious about this that you could be correct. <laughs> it might be a so dumb I'm genius. Portman. Type, you know, it's a continuum. Intelligence is a continuum. Everyone knows that. Portman. Portman. Does she look? She looks Jewish, but is Portman last name Jewish? I don't. Okay, let me think about this. I think. Fuck. This might be. This might. I'm, I think this is a trick question, and I'm gonna go with my boy Tay Tay. That her last name is Portman. Well, Andy, you probably should have been a little bit more suspicious this time because Fuck! actual last name is Hirschlag. Uh, well, it makes sense that she changed it. That's a crazy last Even name. Even I knew that. Come on, guys. Not a cute last Your name. gentle it's eyes. Crazy. I thought, I really thought. I thought you knew the I answer. Know, I thought I you were genuinely being out. gentle. <laughs> it's so funny. Questions. I, don't, I never read People magazine. I know. You're so sweet like that. My turn. All right, guys. All right. We're back to Benny. He's raring to go. He's, he's feeling the momentum shift. Eric Benny Bloom seizing the moment, taking a look at the board. Benny, where are we headed? You know, I, don't be point. Don't. What do you, I, you, know, you know, I really love Italian gentle people. However, the horn, but I'm a trumpet player and I'm very good. And while I'm honest, I want to say that Chris is a fabulous trumpet player. And the last time I heard you play, I was not just impressed and just happy to be your friend. I just want to throw that out there for the world. Okay? Vinny, my man. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Being a night, look at this. The fucking band's clapping. Except my Chris. man. Jerk. What the fuck is that? Now, I'm going to go with my man, Chris. Let's do this. All right, this is it. Let's make it happen. Thank you, sir. Okay, Chris Bowers, you're ready to go. Beautiful background. I love the color palette. Welcome to Turquoise Squares, my friend. Thank you. Yeah, so excited. All right, this is a tough one. I hope you're ready for it. Here we go. What color are aircraft black boxes, Chris? Wow. So this this one I'm a little familiar with. Um, black box is the common term, of course. You'd think that's an easy answer. Black. But in case of emergency, they are actually orange. Black boxes are orange. Final so you answer. Can find them. He sounds sure of that, Benny. Over well, to you. Yeah. He's a smart guy. He's a trumpet player. Um, you know, it, it, I really like his answer. I've been watching a lot of um, 
um, you know, it's the, it's the quarantine. I've been watching a lot of plane crash stuff, but not like official. Like it's like they're re, it's the they're they're redoing the uh, the, the reenactments. They're the best. Yeah, and I and, but then at the end they show the real black block footage, and I recall seeing one that was gray. But you know what? I'm gonna go with you on this. I'm gonna go with my trumpet player to show my solidarity, my love, and your and just you got great glasses. Let's go. Yes, he is telling the truth. See what happens when you trust others, Eric Benny Bloom. That answer is correct. Put him on the board with an X, everybody. Someone knows how to play the game, Chris. You fucking are. You're. I love you. Let's get married. That's it. Let's do it. It's done. Done deal. <laughs> All right, we've got a match made in heaven here. They're gonna have a lot to talk about after this game. And if you take a look at our board, you can see where we're at. It's a little weird, but there is a chance that someone will eventually win. Andy Frasco, where are we headed, buddy? Where are we headed, and who are we going to talk to? Yo, I'm going to talk to my real estate broker, Michelangelo Caruba. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, I yeah. feel like you're about to jit me for another another couple percent over here. Like, hey, hey. Percent, tree. <laughs> couple two tree. Couple two tree. Hey, this is a hot market. Nah, this one's this one's on the house. <laughs> all right what are we doing here okay all right mikey. all right come on buddy i need this w come on help me out here all we right go mikey karuba can you tell me in which country the caesar salad was invented oh shit i know this all day mikey don't yeah I, uh, um i mean the, the answer seems obvious because you know caesar Rome, Italy, that's, that, that's like, seems, you know, uh, logical, but, uh, I, I, you know, in my, in my many, many, uh, hours in a kitchen, um, I actually happen to know that the Caesar salad was invented in, in, in Canada. It was invented in, in it was invented in Canada. God wow. Uh, I still think of you as a real estate broker right now, dog. Yeah, you, <laughs> you got you got <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, but the three percent before the four percent comes the five percent. Three percent before the four percent is the five. Five percent is Canada. We're going with Canada. Um okay. Can't, that makes sense. I mean Putains. Putains. Is that a name for it? He's a no. big chef. He's been in a long time in the kitchen, so I don't want to. I'm telling you. I mean, you got you got the wrong guy in your ear there, Frasco. I know he's he's trying he's trying to. Hold on, let me stay focused. Let me stay focused. Poutines, Caesar salads, his crew of all shit. <laughs> <laughs> Andy's That's just getting hungry over there. No, no, listen. All I'll say is this. Give I'm, me one more. Give me one more. Give me one more rebuttal of your bullshit, sir. He, sir, he, Caesar. Oh. I. I I do love to eat. Sir, I, I do love to eat. It's the last thing I'll say. Back to you, Andy. You're going to have to tell us whether Canada is the home of the Caesar salad or not. And if Mikey is telling the truth, is he correct? I'm going to call bullshit. Sorry, Mikey. I don't think I don't think Canada made the Caesar salad. And I, I, I just, I, I love you. And I, you wouldn't lie to me like that. Well, Andy, you are right. You're Let's fucking go! Correct. I knew it! The Caesar now, salad was actually invented in Mexico. That's true. Oh, the, the Caesar drink was invented in Alberta, Canada. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Saskatoon over here. <laughs> All right, let's see that board, Andy Frass. Let me say, hold up. He's in a spot right now. Eric Benny Bloom with his back up against the wall yet again on his heels. Benny, where are we headed? Back against the fucking wall, this guy over here. Hold on. I'm just calling it like I see it, dog. You know, I just want you to know that I'm really enjoying this. And finally, getting a little shine. The greatest singer I've ever heard, Josh Schwartz. Let's take him, folks. All right, all right, all right. All right. Benny. Johnny, thank I'm you, so thank happy. You. I love it. <laughs> oh, this is great. Josh, welcome to Turquoise Squares. We're thrilled that you're here. Thanks for bringing your height with you. Thank you <laughs> Thanks for bringing that tie. Yeah, no problem. I, I've had it uh, saved just for this occasion. I wear it every week on Turquoise I'm Squares. Sure. You know what? Before we get to Josh's question, we're going to need to take a commercial break. Let's hear from our sponsors. 
I can't believe it. Don't you ever quit? I've been away a long time, and my roommate's still going strong. Renews it roommate air freshener with twice the freshening liquid, so it freshens air longer than magic mushroom. Long-lasting roommate. All right, welcome back to Turquoise Squares. As you can see, Andy Frasco has a chance to win, but Eric Benny Bloom has landed on young Josh Schwartz for a chance to block Andy's quest to, to emerge victorious. An important question that the game depends on. And our natural wine connoisseur takes a sip of his wine in anticipation of what might be the final question. Well, second to last question of this game. Okay, here we go, Josh. Are you ready for your question? I sure am, Ari. Okay, great. The beaver is the national emblem of which country in the world? It's funny, actually, Uzbekistan has a, a very, not very well known, but a, a long, rich history with the, uh, the mighty beaver. Um, their, their main export is, is wood, and uh, their damming industry is, like, is huge. Um, but it's actually not true. Hmm. I'm going to go with Canada. Bringing it back to Mikey. I think uh, I think Canada Canada is a beaver country. That is an interesting answer for sure. And explanation. Thank you for taking us on that journey. And what is that that food, right? <laughs> Benny, you got a block. You need this. Is Josh telling the truth or not about the beaver as the national emblem of which country? He says Canada. Is it Canada? You know. <laughs> Uh, it's a tough one because there's a lot of beavers in Canada because I, I I am an expert in Canadian uh, uh, beaver territory because I used to be a trappist and my father was a trappist. So the issue really is because I know California that is the emblem. But unfortunately, I don't think he's telling the truth. It is Uzbekistan, so he is not telling the truth. And that's your final answer is he's not telling the truth. That's Benny's final answer, and unfortunately, it is Canada. That is right. Can you believe it? Andy Frasco has won this episode of Twelve Left Squares. Fucking go! Yes. Wow, Rip that lettuce Andy ass. Frasco with the upset of the century. Never going on your show, Andy. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Never going on your show. Only Cam boys. That's it. Only Cam. Uh, oh, we're going to need a rematch sometime in 2020. I want to thank all of you for joining us all across the country. And this show is not over. Despite Andy Frasco winning this episode, we do have a bonus round today. Okay, it's a winner take all. Take home a prize that we haven't even mentioned yet. We're headed to Greg in just a minute. We're going to that red square, that beautiful red square. But Brett. First, why don't you talk about our bonus prize today? Well, everyone is very excited about a combination bonus prize. We have the three-foot gummy worm that has been enhanced with gold flakes. You eat the gummy worm, you poop it out, your poops are solid gold. This is a big one. Back to you, Mr. Fink. Pretty sure we used that prize already, Brett. But it's combined. Right. Okay, we're just getting right. <laughs> Same prizes put together. Got it. All right, you can tell right. they're stuff built here. in turquoise squares. Come on, can we just up the production budget here a little bit, guys? Can we get some? We can get a we car can... if you want. Yeah. We can... Sorry, sorry. All right, you guys can get here we go with our bonus round. Eric Benny Bloom, you've got a chance to redeem yourself. You've got a chance to go home with something, so you're not empty-handed. I still All want right. my pills to be normal. I want them to be solid gold. Let's go. <laughs> Mission accomplished today. <laughs> ah, all right. Benny, we are headed to Greg's spot on the Turquoise Squares board. Are you ready? Greg, are I'm ready you ready? For facts in my life. I'm very ready for Benny to win that gummy bear. Awesome. All right. Well, let's help him take home. You can help him take home that gummy bear so he can poop gold. Here is your question, Greg Sanderson. Which country has the most vending machines per capita? Ooh. Oh, wow. It's simple. 
It is. It's a very simple question. Uh, well, we actually recently took a trip to yeah, no, Japan, uh, Tokyo, and there was a vending machine on every street corner. In fact, multiple. However, I haven't been to too many other countries that have had that, so I'm going to have to stick with Japan on that one. Well, let me just uh, say that I appreciate your answer. And me also have been in Japan, and my favorite one was the used panties. That was really my favorite machine. And I'm actually kidding, but that is actually real. <laughs> oh yeah, I bought some. Well, I, when I was, it, it's like that's like there's you could buy like period juice and stuff. I didn't buy those ones. I just bought the ones with like a little like. Fart. I mean, hey, we're just saying it's there, folks. I mean, it, 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 <laughs> oh, sorry. Keep going. So unfortunately, and fortunately, I think that my sexy son of a gun, Greg Sanderson is correct on this and i'm gonna say yes she's telling the truth i want the gummy bear down my throat with poopy that's cold you guys are correct greg mission oh. you help the guy take home his consolation prize let's hear it for eric benny bloom from lettuce their new album resonate is out on streaming services for sale for borrow you can listen to it you can crank it up yep. and you can yep. shake your booty and then send him a video on the internet which he will laugh at Andy Fraxel has a new album out. Turquoise has all kinds of music to listen to. So many talented people here on Turquoise Squares. I can't thank you at home for watching and enjoying it. Thank you so much for joining us. Everybody from Turquoise, for Andy Frasco, for Eric Benny Bloom, and our announcer, Brett Siddell. I'm Ari Fink, and we'll see you next time on the next episode of Turquoise Squares. Fuck a loss, man.
All right, shifting gears here, we're going to move to a different segment of Hey You, Stay Tuned. We're going to review some live footage, in this case from our very own concert film, which is out now, called Nuns of Tongues. If you haven't seen the film, you will see some new stuff here that you've never seen. Let's go ahead and show Night Swimming from Nuns of Tongues, which is, of course, the song that the lyric Nuns of Tongues is from.
There it is. Yeah, great job. Great <laughs> job. Um, I gotta so, say that one part at the end when Mikey starts doing the double time on the on the hat, like that shit gets me going every time with my my little shaker doodle and like. And I'm like, yes! And then I, I probably get caught making like weird faces during that part every time. It gets me going. I love it. It's, it's the most exciting part of the song for me as well. So. This song, uh, Night Swimming, is my uh, favorite song to see on the set list. Every, it was, oh, I always enjoy it. It's a completely enjoyable. Every single time, I'm like, it's just, it's in. I love it. Yeah, Craig, you and I get to start things off together. That's right, we do. That's right. Sax and keys I get to together. Wild. Wow, 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 wow. It's my favorite thing. I love that. Nice. And that song is actually, when it was made on Digitonium, was an like, a exact combination of a demo that Taylor had and a right. demo that I had. And one day, perhaps we'll release the two demos. It's really funny because they oh. both happen to be in the same key at the same tempo. Right. But mine had that riff, ba 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 and Taylor's had the bass line, boom, down, 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 and it's like laid over each other. Just they, just, we were just like, let's just see is, what happens. That was that. Is that what's going on? Yeah, <laughs> I'll show you. Yeah, I can. It's cool. They're both. God cool. damn it! Cool. <laughs> Why is that upsetting? You? Well, no, it's upsetting. But like, I was always trying to key on on like, where's the. Which, which, Which thing do I center on? And now that I find out that it's like, two, it's 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 the axis of evil here, <laughs> and I'm stuck in the middle. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out what to play in that song for ten years. You figured it out. And like Chris said, you know, there's a lot going on up there. It's kind of a lot, whole vibe. lot going on. Like, but yeah, I do remember, Dave, when we were trying to work on both of them separately, and I think you said maybe or something, it was like, why don't we just try, I don't, I don't remember how it happened exactly, but they just like totally lined up when we put them together. Waffle fries! <laughs> that, that must be a sign that you guys have been writing music together for a long time. Ah, and just sure. Just know what each other are going to be doing in that kind this of situation. This could really use something. something. What did you just write? Because I'll just, we'll just put that in there. <laughs> Well, it definitely worked. You can see me stank face and throughout pretty much the whole song. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that's why we got that crazy bass sound on the Digitonium recording, yeah. Taylor, because it's like there's already a riff going on, and right. we needed to get something really wacky going on for the bass for that bass line to cut through. So, yeah, I remember I hadn't I bought one of those like old '80s Qtrons, and I hadn't really used it because it sounded too intense. For most situations, like the squawk. Too intense for you? The <laughs> squawk was like a little obnoxious. <laughs> I don't think that was possible. Jocko seemed to tame it just right to put yeah, the synth bass. Jocko! Taylor, what is the, what's, what's the uh, origin of the word obnoxious? The origin? Um, Are we back to Surf on Squares? <laughs> I don't know. What do you, you know? Oh. No, and I do remember also, uh, I think we were at the Cubby Bear, and we were watching Juno you know What. Shout out, oh, Joey yeah. Porter, Steve Watkins, Tyrone Hendricks. And um, they did that. They had this one tune where it was a measure of four, and then it was a measure of two. Mikey, do you yeah. remember this? Right. Yeah, I'm in the band. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's in the goddamn band. Dave, <laughs> wasn't, it, wasn't that sort of an impetus when you wrote that line? We were like, I remember talking at least about how, oh, that's cool that it had that extra. Well, we put it at the end because we had to do something because it had been the same riff for a long time at the end. Yeah. We're like, we need to do something to to shake it up. And we're like. Yes, yeah. And oh, like, oh, it, and it, is, it, is super, it is like a cool, like, uh, you know, where the rhythm holds and it's over the bar line thing happening but if you count if you were to play the end you count to four and count to two yeah and it comes back the juno the juno what thing is in 10 is that what it is but the turquoise thing is a uh six, six. yeah so I w that's what i was gonna ask craig yes. you can't you count four and then two i always count six in that section yes yeah, six <laughs> i'm not as good at math and actually <laughs> four four then two right oh, that's right oh, it actually is ten Oh, there you go. Exactly. Da, 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 da. Fascinating fact for the fans. Seven, eight, da, 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 da. one. Yeah. yeah. Then it's the exact same thing as what you know what did. Well, I hope they're not watching this. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I am, but I won't tell. My idea for the record. <laughs> I I'm listening to it, but I won't tell Joey. 
One, two, yeah, three, correct. four, five, six, one, yeah. ten. It's ten. <laughs> no, 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 it's four, four, and two. It's very different. It's Garrett Sayers doesn't look at the internet, and Joey Porter is too stoned to care. So we're good. <laughs> Love you, Joey. <laughs> Love both of you guys. Yes, and shout out to Jocko at More Sounds Studios in Syracuse, by the way, who mixed. Love you, Jocko. Uh, Digitonium, Life in the City, and Nuns a Ton. And we've done a bunch of recording there, and he's a genius. All right. And also, don't go night swimming because that's when sharks come out. Oh. Ah! <laughs> oh, but also, save the sharks. Yes, oh, yes. Night, Fuck right? the sharks. There's also an REM song called Night Swimming, and I plan on retroactively suing them for making a piece <laughs> for us. We clearly had that one in the bag. Time is, time is a flat circle. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, let's move on, I suppose, to the last clip, which back to the old, the old classics here. Um, this is one of the very first turquoise songs that existed ever uh, way back when Taylor and I were making some demos, now known as the dollar store version. But this is the live version of Coast to Coast from Nuns of Time. I want to do 
Great song. I just have to say, yes, great song. Also, I feel like Coast to Coast and also Back to Normal, like, even before, like, I was in the band, I, I knew about Turquoise, and I just feel like when when we all perform Coast to Coast and, like, that that solo and that build up at the end, that is like so quintessential turquoise. And no matter like, no matter how many times I'm gonna play that song in my life, that moment I will still get so much joy from seeing everyone in the audience at that build. And then we all just like hit it and we come back in like, yeah, I can play that song forever and ever over and over again. And that yep. will feel like that and back to normal are just like, so turquoise will never get old. Like I love seeing everyone's like excitement on their face. And it's just like, it's so exciting for me. And then I see them excited and then it's, I love it. I love the it. The moment in my life that I have gotten the most lightheaded during <laughs> is the second, the one drops after the buildup. Yeah. Cause I'm literally like, the, you see the veins in my yeah. neck during the buildup are just like pulsing and there's like some kind of clot or or blockage yeah. or something that I'm like imposing on myself. But you let it and out. Then, and then when the one drops, it's just yeah. like, it happens. I'm, it's like either it's, I don't know, it's like the first time you come or the first <laughs> nitrous balloon you ever do but or I, the first <laughs> time your daddy says he loves I, you. It's like a really big moment. I, I was going to ask the like big how, moment. Many, how many times do you guys think that we have like, we have blown the power to a music venue right at that yeah. moment when yeah, the wind comes in. Many, so, many times. I think or a very burn. janky festival. Yeah. yeah. Venues, 15, anything. Sh I think 15 shows have been shut down with that be moment. because of that moment. I'm going to assume because it's Because of the breakdown there. and then when yeah. we finally come back into the – we build it up for so long. Yeah, it's, we're the Megazord. Finally, it's the Megazord. We're the Megazord. When we it, finally come back in with that one, that's where we, <laughs> we will trip like the breaker. If it's not, if it's not going to happen, then we, we will let them know because the, I always the power wonder, will go out. Why, though? Because like – because I guess that made me realize, which I didn't know before, that if you're, if everyone is playing harder, I mean, it's the amped instruments, obviously, the, the amps. The, the tubes, like, I know with that old SVT I had, when the louder you play, and even the harder you play dynamically, the more power, power. the vacuum tubes drop. Well, it's all of us, too. It's that kick drum coming through, like, a PA right. system. When we yeah. get, like, kicking at that, that last moment, that is, the, like, when all of us dig in and land the big one and everybody's going hard. It's the hard. hardest we it's the hardest we hit. The whole yeah. thing goes so on, good. you know. I don't know. I, I think it might be my tambourine just pushing it over the end. <laughs> also that. I think I'm always like wondering if Josh is gonna like fully transmorph into like monster man at that moment because okay, every time okay. you know, when he's really, and his face contorts and I'm like tonight is the night he's like fully transformed. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna beam up into the sky and yeah. like Coast to coast monster man, like gonna suck Greg's brains out. <laughs> and that, and that's a yeah. that's a pretty crazy song for me because that was one of the first things I recorded for Turquoise back in the day. Yeah, Taylor and Dave hit me up. They're like, "Yo, come do this recording." And it was in a bedroom in their house in Alston, and I recorded the solo. And and back then it was a handful of bars. It was only a couple measures long. Um, and obviously, as we've been playing, it's morphed. So that's been really fun for me to see. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, and to, like to like to be able to play off of everyone too because at first it was like we build up build up solo solo and then move on but now we do the whole uh, breakdown there and i get now i get to listen to craig and chris and everyone and like doing all their different uh comping behind me and we take it in and out a million times so yeah it's so pretty you know, cool you know what's kind of fun is sometimes <laughs> well it's, it's a little it's a little s m of me but like uh sometimes i'll see your eyeballs look over at the drum riser like yeah, Mikey, I can't blow any harder than this. And I'm like, take it around another time. <laughs> take it around another time. And San Sandy's eyeballs are like, I got no running on fumes here, guys. I got nothing. You're not finished yet. <laughs> Back to work. Yeah. Josh does that to Craig and when we do Shape Up Men, too. Yeah. Yeah. All the <laughs> He literally yeah. does this. <laughs> like, sweat, like sweat in his eyeballs. Yeah, yeah he does. He goes, <laughs> he's like, No, no. No, no. You keep playing for me. <laughs> 
Well, I remember um, so, yeah. I had been playing the song for a while, and um, you know, it's it was I liked it. Oh, it's a fun. And then one drive, I had never listened to the dollar store recording, and I was like, "What is this?" And you're like, "This is the song, dude." <laughs> like, yeah, it's different. It's got a different vibe. And then ever since then, I I try to play it like that version. I mean, we don't, but like guitar wise, yeah. that's I always try to get that vibe, you know, to it. And that's yeah. why I, that's actually I kind of fell in love with the song when when I heard that version when we were on some long drive. Because that wasn't out for a long time, the dollar store thing. Like I hadn't even heard it. Yeah, it was like we had a CD of it when we made it originally. Yeah, right. like yeah that we pressed pressed the uh, stickers on the little stamp machine. Yeah, the stamp. Yeah, absolutely. I remember that. Um, numbered the, them. They were all that, numbered. That was yeah. one of the original like three songs that we played in our first performance ever. Oh, like BPC. Right. Yeah. Right. Yep. Oh yeah, that's correct. Yeah, that monkey yeah. fingers and what was BPC. It? it was just those two, but yeah, yeah. Oh, two songs. But then, uh, yeah, the dollar store versions only got released on the re-release of the first record, which is the, it's the same seven songs. So it's kind of cool to hear how wildly different they are from each other, but both really really cool. Yeah. Well. That concludes this segment. Thank all you guys for, for being here. And, uh, you know, hey, you, stay tuned. You never write, you never call. <laughs> Well, hello there, the internet. It's me, your boy, Taylor Shell, coming to you live from the outer net. Just want to let you know there's still French fries and slippers and TVs, bodies of water, vegetables, friendships. It's all still there. It's just a little hidden. Sometimes you have to forge through the lakes of Minnetonka to get to the other side to find your pals playing ping pong with gold paddles. Just is going to take a little more time to get the gold paddles, people. But, you know, try to enjoy the outer net as well as the internet. I know you're in that box. Just looking, looking, uh, looking at me. Hey, but you know, look around, for example, you know, maybe, maybe there's something out of this box you should be looking at. Maybe you should be looking at yourself thinking, Hey, how can I be happy? And uh, I'd, I'd uh, encourage you to, you know, call your mom or call your friend, John. Everyone has a friend named John, right? If you don't have a friend named John, get a friend named John, all right? Come on, get it together. Anyway, I love you all. I hope that uh, the screen isn't enveloping your soul. Peace!